Right, welcome back. I'm off to the track for another day riding, but this time I'm gonna be riding my 450 because since the last vlog, I've been chose to race for Great Britain at Matley Base and Motocross of Nations, which I was a little bit nervous about, but now, closer, sorry, but now I've um, got my head round it. I've done a couple of days on the 450. First day, I thought, what am I doing? What have I got myself into? Second day, much, much better. So today will be my third day on the bike. Um, and we're going riding at Moto 101. Lovely day for it. All the way here, driving, lovely day, and then get within this about half a mile of here and it's just absolutely hammered down. So now the track that's been left rough from yesterday is uh, tab moist. Look at that, that looks nice, because you've got the puddle and then you've got the shadow of that in the puddle and the flags and that. That looks really nice. I was trying to be positive that it looked nice, but that's the actual reality of it. I bought the big van today for a big day's graph. I've just gone out for a warm up, and now it's wet than I thought. That's really wet. They're splashing through the woods here. Yeah? It's not even wet. Right. The track's been built because we want to try and get more British riders into racing arena cross and the reason for that is next year, 25, is going to be a British only championship for the pros as well as a world tour. So how that's going to work is six rounds are going to have British based riders only so they're going to have their own final etc etc. Then we're going to have two rounds that are qualifiers for the world tour to get to Abu Dhabi and win loads of cash. Have you been on Supercross track Bill? I've done one lap. It. I see you sky the finish jump and went to the moon. Yeah, it's so steep. Why did you go so high? I tried to whip it and it just went up. Oh, it's fun though, it's like a skate park. What we're going to do now, I've been out, track's drying out a little bit. I'm going to swap my suspension because we've got one set that's a little bit harder than the other set, so I'm going to see which one's better. So, trying to get myself quite comfortable, which I am doing um, day by day. I'm feeling better and better on it. Did you bring me a coffee? Hello, mate, you're right. Yeah, good, thanks. Is that nice, mate? Good. No crackling left, I'm afraid. I don't. Uh... No crackling. No. I just have uh, without the crackling. Then. <laughs> Are you having a full Monty with everything? Uh, no, no, not the full Monty. I just have this. The meat. Um, and a bit. What's that? It's seasoned on your stuff, you know, made. Yeah, apple sauce. What's that? Apple, apple sauce with a hint of cinnamon. Yeah, why not? Nice with a bit of cinnamon. Is it? Nice little touch. Oh, fucking hell, mate! Not surprised you're coming for thirds. <laughs> I'm seconds actually. It's a game changer. Like what? It. Put it in the potato. Yeah, just dip it in the sauce at the bottom, just the top of your cup, and then put it on top. Oh. Oh. <laughs> what? That is a game <laughs> All right. So up to this point in the day, we've not had a bad day, but a busy. Um... Does this beanie look good or bad? They're good compared to that. So we've had a long day so far and absolutely no footage to show for it as of yet. Ed's came and left without even picking the camera up, which is disappointing. But I've had a lot going on today. Forks have been in, forks have been out, forks in, out, shock in, shock out. And I feel we are learning when one way too far and then we've come back almost to where we started the day but sometimes it is like that but i am feeling a lot more comfortable on the bike what else the arena cross what they've put on over there matt bates and the whole arena cross team everyone is having a really good day i haven't actually been on the track up to now because i'm trying to focus my attention on one job and that's the um getting my 450 set up for the matt cross invasion been out on track for a few hours now probably like 10 till and it's now three o'clock which i'm not gonna moan because it's not big hours compared to you actual grafters out there but going in and out, in and out on a motocross bike, it's actually not easy because you just, I'd rather just go do two thirties and then head home. But I'm gonna go do another session. I might pass my camera to Luke or Lee or Bill, one of them, and hopefully we can have a bit of footage for you. All day, grafting. Thanks, Gary. Proper graft, doing it for the country, yeah. ain't I? The pain inside don't wanna feel it. Big day, but I'm feeling a little bit better. We tried a lot of things. 
suspension and bike setup, making it higher and lower and what it does, just so that I sort of know where we're at. I'm tired to be fair. I had I missed riding yesterday because I had a cold, but we need to get out on this bike. So this will probably be the last day until the British Championship that I raced the 450, because then I've got to drop to a big few weeks coming up and hopefully put the graft in and have big rewards. Good morning. A lot of the footage I had yesterday was unusable because my camera was playing that microphone flicking on and off and making a buzzing noise. You've probably already heard it up to this point in the vlog. So a little bit upsetting, but today I've got physio now, then gym. Only going to do a little bit in the gym because my one full day's graft sent me downhill a little. So I won't do too much in there, but I'll take you in physio. And then tomorrow I'm going to ride my 250, but you'll see that when we get there. Betty Bolt. Billy Askew, and then the top doers on this one. Though. Right, we've had a change of plans. Instead of me riding this weekend, Alf is now riding because I felt under the weather still. So we come to a friend's track, which you can see in the background, which is a little track that's been mowed into a grass field and it's mega because I have no worries watching him. Alf has no worries riding it and it's a nice steady day. How was that then? Good. How fast was you? Fast. Was you standing up? Yeah. What else was you doing? Any whips? Yeah. This day I have a dad. Vlogs are not very good at the minute. They're a bit boring. Like they're, they're all just race vlogs and not very interesting. Like these days are better to vlog, more fun like. I, I agree, we where are we then? Preston Docks. And that river there, apparently. If you come here last night, yeah, all that grass there would have been not, non it would have been not It there. goes up and down, yeah. Yeah, it's, a t it's part of the sea, so it's tidal. So we could, if you video it later, there'll be barely any water. Then if you stayed here tonight, it'd be full of water. Lover boy's here with his missus. I, I like how you tried to tell me that as if you were the only one in this paddock that knows that happens. I just thought it was impressive. Oh, what, you're, you're feeling yourself out there today? No, I wouldn't go good then. You didn't? No, I was only cruising that one. Oh, well, I felt good because I was keeping up with you. Why would you say that? Because I didn't know you was behind me. If I knew he was behind me, I'd have put a bit into oh. no, you. Wasn't. Right, Preston Docks today. Finally, actually able to put a bit of graft in. Um, put a bit under the weather, but it's Tuesday. Vlogs should have been out Monday, so I'm sorry for the lack of vlogs, but we're getting there. Back on the 250. We've got Preston Docks this weekend. We've got a big group of us up here, a lot of riders from the British Championship, so it's nice. Track's really, really good. So if you are watching this, come up and watch Preston Docks. The season final, where I'm one point off the championship. So you've got me, Joel, my teammate, Cass Falk, Jack Chambers, all within, I think, 10 or 11 points. So it's gonna be a good last round. Look at this. We've got a big day. The old mechanics are all on fine form here. I like it. Are you all just copying each other because someone yeah. got a wire brush out? No, we copied each other. And then you've all got wire brushes no, out. Just got a camera out, didn't it? What a load of din One bloke's got a wire brush out. Now all four of them have. Hey, what do you do next? That's week? not normal, is it? That's not a normal carry-on. There's no way all four of them should have a wire brush on a bike at the same time. They're battling in the pits like we were just out on the track. <laughs> I know. <laughs> the late season charge, but you're all digging in. Oh, you've actually got just a dustpan and yeah, brush. We we're on, That's a, a we're, on, we're on a budget here, Dixon Racer. Oh, yeah. We're on a budget. <laughs> what are you saying, Jack? You've um, had the championship lead all season, and then unfortunate events have seen you lose that, yeah. and are now chasing by 10 points. Are you feeling good? Uh, I'm feeling all right. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a tough season, but uh, we'll, t we'll take it how it is, and won a couple races, second had a couple, and then 13th had a couple too. So. Um, yeah, it, 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 it hurts the feelings when a 30-plus rider at Loretta's can, can beat me, but, you know, it is what it is. Do you want to do some whips and that for me if I get the video out? I can't clear, and I'll jump from bikes too slow. Bikes too slow? To be fair, the, the jumps are really difficult around here. I'm struggling to get most of them on my bike. I ask for them bigger. No whips. Why don't you do a whip like Billy Bolt, where you get it all sideways and then land like it? <laughs> what, you already know at seven-year-olds you shouldn't do that? Do whips, he, he just sends a jump and then does endos. Little John went to race SMX, didn't you, in, where was it? Uh, Atlanta. Charlotte. Charlotte. That was a good experience, wasn't it? I can imagine that was really good. Yeah. Big case and finish. I see you jump that big finish jump. That was massive. Now, it's nice to see you over there, mate, flying the flag for the Brits. Yeah. Are you going to race the last round at Preston? Is that why you're up here? Yeah. Good, ma'am. Is the mic on? I've had to change mics. Yeah, it's black and green. You've had a problem with the old microphone a bit. Right, there's a few of us out here now. The Dixon crew and then 
the dirty crew. Um, and uh, Lee's gonna get a bit of footage. I think I must be losing weight. My trousers are a bit loose, but uh, yeah, a little last session up at Preston before the weekend. I'm gonna chase these boys. Lee's gonna get some footage. Let's go. Much better than yesterday. Yeah, way better. I've got energy, like at the end of that I could still go. How are you mate? You've come a long way to practice today, haven't you? Yeah, four hours away. You're gonna come up at the weekend? Yeah, to see you win, Tommy. Yeah, I know. Thanks mate. Well I'm gonna try my best. Yeah. Have a good session out there, mate. See in a bit. That was good, wasn't it, Bill? Good fun that Tom. I was much better than yesterday, wasn't I? Yesterday was a yeah. bad day for me. Like a beginner yesterday, just a low point in my um a low point in my all right, mate. Just tell me that secret again so my watchers know. So oh. if you like coffee and you like naps. Yeah. If, if you like coffee and you like naps, I mean, Zach will probably gonna be mad at me for telling people this, but he likes to uh, take a drink of coffee, set your timer for 20 minutes, fall asleep, take a good nap. When you wake up, you're antsy and you're ready to go. Oh, go I sort of understand because the coffee won't kick in for like 20 minutes. Exactly, it doesn't so go into your bloodstream. So you can quick nap and then when you wake up, you're, you're buzzing. Like, yeah, yeah, all right, I like go. that. I love coffee and I love naps, so I'm, I'm gonna have a coffee now and a nap before I set off home. Because I've got two kids at home. Happy days, I finally found a little bit of form again, which is nice because if you watch the rest of this vlog, you've probably thought this man is not in a good mood and he struggled a little bit, which I have. But now, um, feeling much better and looking forward to the weekend, and we're gonna have a good weekend. Like I said before, it's one point in it, I'm one point down, so it's sort of one of those win or bin situations because to be honest it doesn't matter if I get second or third the only position that really matters in the British Championship if I win it so I'm going to do my best to go out there and win this weekend but thank you for watching this vlog we'll see you soon